Woo! All right, what's up, everybody out there? How you guys doing? It's your boy Baki back with another one. Listen. You motherfuckers have outdone yourself with this Castlevania series. Let's get into it. Your boy is here to tell you that season four of Castlevania may have been my favorite thing that I've watched this entire year so far. And I loved Invincible. And I loved Invincible. When I say love, I love it. Love it. But um, I think because I've beaten all the Castlevania games, like we're about to do it again. Uh, we're about to do all the Castlevania games in chronological order of the timeline. I got to see a little like glimpse of them putting Easter eggs and like little notes throughout all four seasons that meant more to me than it would the average person who doesn't play those games or who never followed the lore. So when you get to this fourth season, man, if you if you have a true love for fucking Castlevania, listen, I cried. There's two times I cried in the last two episodes. I cried in episode nine, and I was thought I was done crying, and I cried in episode 10. No bullshit. Legit fucking tears. Like, legit standing up like, what the fuck? And, like, dude, this series is a 10 out of 10. At, and you know what's crazy is in the third season, they almost lost me. Because it went, it went a bunch of different ways. And it's so, like... It doesn't necessarily follow the video game stories, if you will, but it does in a way too, though. That's what's so crazy about it is it doesn't follow the stories, but it does. For example, perfect example is how they do Alucard in in the Vanya series it is very similar to how he is in the animated series. Um, he's like the the backbone of society or is becoming the backbone of society as they're progressing through this. He isn't in in the show, but they're showing that he has that ability to become that and to uh, protect humanity in a way that's like behind the scenes almost, you know. And dude, they I mean, when I say they hit so many games where I was like, I know that game. 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 I know. It was like, it was so fun, bro. It was. I loved everything about this shit. The animation. I loved the drawing. See what I, what, what I really loved about fucking Castle, Castlevania Netflix series was like, dude, the drawings, like the swords, there'd be like moonlight. There'd be like moonlight shining off of something and the moonlight would shine off of their armors and their swords and like it was just like it looked so fucking good and it's just such a nice color palette and it's so rewarding and woo. and there's a uh, very very uh different uh take on what happens with the series and the ending and it's just like it's it's all over the place with amazing <laughs> Not in a bad way, in a very good way. Now, if you don't know anything about Castlevania, I'm not sure this series is for you. Seriously. I say that because that's kind of how I felt about the third season. Like, a lot of what I watched about it, I was like, a lot of the third season is like, if you don't really know... Well, no, I guess <laughs> the third season had a lot of character development, too. And it had some really trippy-ass moments. But I still feel like Castlevania as a whole, as a series, like if you're not a big Castlevania fan or you just don't like anime or anything, you could probably skip it. I would say, though, if you enjoy any type of animation, you're a fan of fucking really, really colorful color palettes, bro. Where like, I mean, I was in, I was in the living room blown the fuck away, bro. My 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 TV in the living room is nasty, bro. And as I'm watching this shit, I'm like this is incredible bro incredible and it just it just it's this roller coaster ride constantly through this whole season but it's just like it's it's not like um it's the start of the roller coaster it's not you're actually in the roller coaster doing all the loops and shit it's just dude it's just like this 
You're just getting ready. And then you get to that fucking hill and for like the last like six episodes, bro. It's just nonstop. And I was actually, my biggest complaint about the whole entire uh, season four is that it felt like the first few episodes, they didn't know how to end an episode. They didn't really have a reason for you to watch the next episode. They did, but they didn't. It was just like the episode just ended. But then, like episodes like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like they have you every episode. You're like, I need to press play. <laughs> I need to watch this next episode right now, right now, right now. No jokes, no play. I need to watch it right now. So it does have um. That that would be like its biggest flaw to me in the entire series, or not in the entire series, but in, in this entire season, is that uh, the first few episodes don't really end too well. They kind of just end, and it didn't do anything to really captivate or motivate or really pull you forward. You're just watching now because you already already in, are already in it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I, I feel like a lot of TV shows should have something to at least pull the person into the next one because there's a lot of people who will be like, nope, you know. If you're not that diehard of a fan. Does that make sense? And you should totally watch it all the way through. That's what I'm telling you. It's like this series is worth a watch all the way through. It's worth a playthrough of all the Castlevania games in order. But that's a whole nother fucking can of worms. We're about to be doing that shit. I'll drop my Twitch above for everybody on the YouTube channel. Uh, so you guys come up in there kick with me. We're going to be playing Castlevania all month. So if you want to come in and talk about some... Some Vania with your boy, come do it, man. I just want to do a little short review, spoiler free. I don't want to get crazy because it's still new. It's still fresh. Go watch that shit. Give them love. Give them support. Talk about it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Baki. Peace.